In the aftermath of a globally impactful attack by Hamas, Israel is prioritizing the destruction of the extensive Hamas tunnel network in Gaza before launching a ground operation. Since 2007, Hamas has constructed over 1,300 tunnels. Some of these are buried as deep as 30 to 40 meters to shield militants from attacks and feature hidden rocket batteries near the surface. These tunnels act as storage for weapons, operational bunkers, command hubs, and secret transit routes for militants and their weaponry, which includes rocket launchers. Additionally, some tunnels strategically connect Gaza to nearby Israeli communities, providing terrorists with a means to infiltrate, abduct, and launch attacks on Israeli civilians. In the past, Israel has attempted to eliminate some of these tunnels using other methods, such as combat engineering and the construction of an underground border wall, stretching several meters to deter tunnel assaults. However, unverified accounts suggest that Israel began deploying the bunker buster munition known as the GBU-28 against these tunnels during the Gaza War of 2008-9 and continued to do so thereafter. Bunker Buster Bombs, like the Guided Bomb Unit 28, or GBU-28, operate on straightforward physics principles. They consist of an exceptionally sturdy, narrow tube that is also incredibly heavy. When released from an aircraft, the tube gains significant speed and, consequently, kinetic energy as it descends. In essence, the GBU-28 is a 4,637-pound bomb that packs 630 pounds of high explosives. Outfitted with GBU-27 LGB kits, this bomb measures 14.5 inches in diameter and almost 19 feet in length. The device is guided by an operator who illuminates a target with a laser designator and the munition then navigates toward the laser energy reflected from the target. The bomb also has a smart fuse which detonates the bomb once it has penetrated deeply enough to destroy the target. The GBU-28 bomb is capable of penetrating 100 feet of earth or 20 feet of concrete. Needless to say, it has a devastating effect on both Hamas's tunnel network and any area near the point of impact. It is also known that Israel requested the GBU-72 bomb, which replaces the GBU-28 from the United States in 2021. Despite the absence of official reports confirming Israel's acquisition of this weapon system, the likelihood of its use in this air campaign remains significantly high and cannot be easily dismissed. The GBU-72 was developed to overcome hardened, deeply buried target challenges. This bomb is fitted with a more durable and efficient smart electronic fuse that can activate at a pre-programmed location. Reportedly exhibiting superior performance compared to the GBU-28, the GBU-72 not only obliterates nearby objects, but also generates a shockwave capable of inducing cave-ins in subterranean structures even farther from the intended target.